um, in the journey of life, it's a series of emotions. That sometimes you are happy, sometimes you feel sorrowful, sometimes you feel like giving up. Even myself as a pastor, as your leader, there are days, especially Sunday services, that I encourage myself a lot for me to come to church. Do you understand? Why? Because that day I will not be feeling like going to church. I'll be feeling down. I'll be feeling discouraged. But in the journey of discouragement, in the journey where your situation is where you down, in the day where you feel like you should not just go to church, that day, remember to keep your faith. Remember to keep your faith. Because your faith is only approved during tough times. When things are good and everything is nice, your faith can never be approved. We, we, don't, we are not even sure if you have faith. But the day you keep your faith, even when things are tough, your faith is approved. Abraham's faith was approved because he took his son to sacrifice him. Faith can be tested. So, congratulations, you passed the tests. You passed the test. You come into church feeling down, feeling all the oppression, feeling the depression, the anxiety, the stress, and you still say, I'm going to church. Trust me, I'm today clapping hands for you. Welcome to the dimensions of the anointed, the dimension of generals. We don't give up here. Oh my God, I say here we don't give up. Look at your neighbor and neighbor. Giving up has been cancelled. Wow, how, how do you feel? And you know, sometimes also when God has given you a, a, a great assignment. It, you should be expecting such things. Paulo how well about us when he got married? Are you excited to believe this or not? That I eat. Let alone get a game. Get a game. Let alone 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 get a so, in first we we not told you that trouble is coming. Now that you it has happened, now you know how it feels. You know the pain. You know the, how it pinched you. You understand? Beloved of God, I want to tell you that in your journey to greatness, there is going to be days where Satan is going to confront you head on. <laughs> but when Satan confronts you, it does not mean that God has abandoned you. The Bible says that a, a, a thousand will fall by your right side, ten thousand by your left side. And none of them will come. Yeah. Then he says again, many are the afflictions of the righteous, yeah. but the Lord will deliver you yeah. from them all. Yeah. So even if you are afflicted, the good news is that you will be delivered. Yeah. So Oscar, 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 help me, Oscar, not have like it's help. God is going to deliver you. Amen. I remember Judy one day after church, actually before church, actually, I looked at her, I could see and sense a lot of sorrow. I don't know if some of you will remember that day. And I asked them, are you okay? Because as a shepherd, I should be able to pick your emotions. I should be able to pick that something is not right. Then I said, I want to see you immediately after church. Tell me. I was not, I was, I did not go to her and say, uh, in the realm of the spirit, there's an arrow that is coming from your village. It hit you here. Then when you woke up, you were emotionally down. No. I inquired, what is going on? Tell me, I'm your mentor. Don't be afraid. I can wisdom to answer what is troubling you. Sometimes, you don't need prophecy. You, did, you need a word of encouragement. Yes. Even God did this to Joshua. He said, Joshua, 
This one is not a prophetic word. It's not, forget about this prophecy I was giving you that the place where you will step on, you will possess. Uh, the land you will step on, you will take over. And that blah, blah, blah. Forget about those prophecies. They are very exciting. Everyone, everyone can shout hallelujah for those ones. Again, yeah. the, the gears are changing when God begins to say, Joshua, be strong. God, are you not going to move the mountains? Why are you encouraging me to be strong? Is trouble coming? Yes, it's coming. But when the trouble comes, also be courageous. Yes. There are days and times God is not going to release the power to level your mountain. But he's going to strengthen you to climb the mountain. Yes. There are mountains that you don't need to level. Some mountains you need to climb them. Yes. To have a better view of the city. I don't know if I'm communicating. Yes. So, in this season, Especially festive season. Some of you are under pressure of what am I going to get my children? I don't have income. What am I going to do? Be strong Amen. and be courageous. Amen. While you wait on the Lord, do what waiters do. Serve. Serve. Amen. Serve. Serve. Amen. If you love nobody, it's noticing your pain. Serve. They look at the pain and say, you But what am I doing? I'm serving. Right there again. While you wait on the Lord, do what waiters do. Serve. You don't serve because you are at the advantage. You serve because you have a revelation that God deserves your praise even in days of your tears. Amen. So, are you ready for Friday? I'm more than ready. You see, you, you see your, your challenge made me to have a five minute sermon. Jesus, you are blessed. All right. I'm not sure if I will preach today. Amen. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> Those who are coming for the first time, this is not how we do it. Uh, the Holy Spirit just decided to do His way. Amen. Amen. Yes. Um. On Friday, we'll be going to Otagani. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm going to Otagani. We have. Hallelujah. For a personal encounter. I'm more expectant yeah. than the people of Otakani. Because I know that the men of God and other men of God cannot travel from Khaboruni to Otakani for jokes. We are going to Otakani as revivalists. We are going there with a the fire of revival to revive the city, to take back the city. The city will not need the sun or moon to shine. The city will need the glory of God. The glory of God will shine upon the Takani. The people of the Takani will see the things that we've never seen. Jesus. Every time we go out to outreach, it's never about the prophets, it's not about the apostles, it's about Jesus. And the mission is to send Jesus to the people, salvation to the people. And our souls who are going there to harvest, yes. the harvest is plenty. Yes. The laborers are going to the field. We will not go come back to Tagani without testimonies. Like the man of God was saying, as we step into the place, will just automatically happen. He will not do anything. Miracles, signs and wonders. Jesus. But most importantly, souls. We are going there for souls. Come on. Right? 
Just go in there to just come here closer to avoid the feedback. Having mission trips and all these things just to serve people and to preach the gospel. The pure gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing more. When we go out to reach out to souls there, we are not going there for our own benefits. We are expanding the kingdom. Populating heaven and depopulating hell. Yes. Hallelujah. So Friday, God has given a privilege and honor to go and introduce the King of Glory. In Gwenyama Yesu. Ikakaramba. so excited man of God mm. my spirit is so expectant the Lord has been pushing this mission in my spirit mm. like this morning the Lord has led in my heart to pray and fast for Litagani my fasting started today for the whole wow. of this week wow. I'm sensing in my spirit that God is going to do amazing things that we have never seen Ooh. my spirit is receptive to this Mm. I want to encourage, let us go there. Mm. Let us go there and take Jesus there. We are in the Jesus mission. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm. I encourage each and every one of us, whether you have money or you don't have money, as long mm. as you have faith, mm. go by faith. The Lord will provide for you. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Let us go there by faith. We are not going just for to enjoy the Kagani. It will be my first time to go to the Kagani. Mm. But that, that will be an extra bonus. Mm. When we are going there, we are going in a mission. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm. So I want to encourage us. Let us go to the Kagan. We are so honored. Mm. This man of God here, I respect him. I tremble sometimes, even when he preaches. I can't I can't contain myself because of the grace that he's carrying. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm. Like he was saying, sometimes it's like a 